Welcome back guys. As I mentioned in the last update, I was gonna bring the Porsche over to my friend Eric's shop, Levine Motorsports, and it is here. It's been here for a little while and we've been making some progress trying to get this thing sorted out so that we can get it finished up before the end of the year, before the snow gets here. So I thought I'd do a quick video and share with you the progress. Uh, there's been two major updates so far. The first one being the aluminum valve cover. I uh, finally have my first prototype version of the Sandcast low profile valve cover that I've been working away at. Um, it is fantastic. It's, it's a little rough. It needs a little bit of uh, like a little bit of work just to clean it up because it's basically fresh from the Sandcasters. But uh, this valve cover is going to be the key to making this engine swap work in the Porsche because it is super low profile. There are other low profile valve covers on the market. Drag Cartel makes one and I know Skunk 2 is coming out with one. I've seen some prototypes of it, but none of them are as low profile as this. Um, you can tell this by the spark plug tubes. The, in order to run this valve cover, the spark plug tubes will have to be cut down, which is an easy feat. It can be done with a tube cutter just to bring it down to this lower level. And that allows me to run a shorter coil in that spot. Um, and the reason for all this is so that we can get the clearance that we need in the engine bay because it's very close to this spot here. So anyways, the valve cover is basically finalized. We have to do a bit of work just to make it work. There's a, obviously it needs a spot so we can fill it with oil. Um, it needs bungs for a catch can and a little bit of finishing up of the, the holes to make them line up nicely because this is just the rough sand cast version but it is basically ready to go and we can finalize this and, and move forward with the, the engine swap. So the engine's out so we can put the final touches on it and also so that we can create a new turbo manifold for the new turbo. After a lot of thought and how we wanted to make the turbo fit, I really wanted the turbo to face forward. The reason being that it's easier to get fresh air for the turbo in this area. So I figured it would be better to flip the turbo around and have it face this way. In order to do that, I had to get a completely different turbo. So this turbo that we ended up picking up is a brand new Garrett G35 900. What makes this turbo really special though is it is a reverse rotation turbo. This is one of those mirror image turbos that basically spin the opposite way um, of, of a conventional turbo. Most of the turbos on the market are basically the complete opposite of this turbo. And the reason for that is it allowed us to flip it around and have nice exhaust flow into the turbo housing. Um, this turbo, like I said, is a G35900 and we went with the D-band 0.83 exhaust housing. So super excited to see how this turbo performs. It should make, do you have a question, Eric? These turbos are only available in the band right now. Fair enough. Doesn't matter though. I'm, I'm super, I know Eric and I are both super excited to see how this turbo performs. Potentially this turbo can make 900 horse. We won't be making anywhere near that on this stock engine, but the pl we have big plans for this uh, setup in the future. I think I've mentioned it before. The plan is to run this stock engine, see what we can get out of this stock engine. And then the plan is to actually build a piston and a rod engine that can handle more and shoot for six plus hundred horsepower and, and really utilize this turbo. I'm super excited to see how this turbo performs. I know it's gonna perform really well. These Garrett G-Series turbos perform amazingly. I've seen, I've seen the results on a lot of different setups. I know it's gonna work really well on this setup. So um, I'm excited to see how much it puts out. Um, but that being said, we still have to do a bunch of work. So Eric is gonna help and we have mocked up the turbo basically where we want it to be. Uh, Eric fabbed up a little bracket plate to hold the turbo where we want it. And the next step is he is going to actually make a custom turbo manifold. Um, the plan is to use this flange and obviously the V-band flange that we get with the turbo and then he's going to make a new turbo manifold that combines the two. And we, and then also incorporate the wastegate. We're gonna have the wastegate sit up top here. Um, but yeah, that's about it for now. Um, this, we have a, all kinds of work to do, but it's getting there. All the bits and pieces are finally coming together. It's been a lot of work to get to this point, but it's really getting close to 
the point where we can finalize this project and hopefully drive it. Like I said, the plan is to be able to drive it this year and with Eric's help, I'm pretty confident that we will get it done, get it sorted out and get it up and running very shortly. So I know you guys are interested in seeing the results. I get all kinds of comments, lots of questions about it. I am super uh, excited that we are this far. We're getting so close to uh, getting it done and getting it back in with the new turbo setup. So, so guys, that's about it for this video. Uh, it might be short, but I wanted to share that content with you. I thought these two updates are pretty cool. This valve cover being basically done. We just got to put the final touches on it and the new turbo. I've been, I've been waiting for this for a while. It took a little while to get, but I am super excited to see how this turbo performs. I'm glad it's finally here and we can, now that we have it, now that we have the valve cover and the turbo, we can finally start putting everything together. And I do hope we can have this up and running. I don't know. I'm hoping we can have this up and running in a month. Definitely before it snows. Uh, I want to drive it this year. I know Eric wants to drive it this year. I so. do some burnout. <laughs> I know Eric wants to drive it as well. I know he wants to do some burnouts with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I uh, am super excited to, to keep sharing this with you guys. I know you're enjoying it. I get lots of questions, lots of comments, and I, I appreciate all those. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.